Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, ensure you subscribe, uh, share and comment. So today, without much ado, I'm going straight to the topic because this is something that has really been disturbing me for the longest period since I decided to quit the music industry. Uh, I decided to quit music industry and become a YouTuber. These things are two different things. And uh, on the, in, in the end of this video, toward the end, or meantime, I'll tell you the reason as why I decided to be a YouTuber. But for now, I want to talk about the reason as why I decided to quit music. So I started music when I was 17 years. I recorded my first album when I was 19 years. By that time, um, my dad had no much uh, money to support us. So we really had to borrow from some people. And a lot really happened. People wanted to support me. They wanted something in, the, in return. And uh, you will understand that uh, some people really want things that you cannot do. Some weird things that I'm going to talk about in this video. At the same time, uh, my dad got some money and he decided to put up a studio for us because he, he, he saw that whenever we, we used to go, some people used to have different agendas. They want to help us, but with different agendas. Unfortunately, in our house, all of the three brothers, we are musicians. So we find it very difficult for, for us as a family to thrive in because some people really want to misuse us. I went to school, to music school. I did music production. I decided to quit. I flunked out of school uh, for some reasons known best to me. I decided to pursue music. So I decided I, I started music when I was in high school. Uh, that's why I, I recorded my first song. And so many things really happened. There were so many challenges. There were so many challenges that uh, are in the music industry. Uh, apart from financial issues, uh, having uh, you don't have money to go and record, maybe some time before you realize what kind of music you do. Apart from those challenges, there are so many things in the, in the industry that are pulling some artists down. You know, in some countries, as I've told you, before you do something or before you drive in music and make it, you must go through some people. But some countries have cartels. Instead of helping people, they want to use them. That's why you see there are so many record labels. These record labels, they have their agendas inside them. Some are selling drugs. Some are, others are taking people to cult. You have heard of the industry that uh, many people have been killed. Others are dying mysteriously. These things don't happen by coincidence. The labels that they are signed in, that's where the problem is. You know, the reason as I decided to go to a music school, uh, at some point I felt like uh, I need to do all these things by myself because when other people do them for me, they really want a lot. So I decided to go to the, mu to the school, become a music producer, a sound engineer, and learn about music industry. You know, we have a distribution company, marketing companies, we have these uh, medias. So you find that almost like 60% of them are rigged. They have cartels. And this cartel really pushes people down. Like me, there's some conditions that I could not do. Some people told me to do some things for me to become famous. Although I tried some and others failed, though nothing worked. Actually, I really realized that uh, most of the things were really bringing me down. Uh, I started my YouTube channel in 2019. That time I was 18 years. Uh, and I started my music when I was 17, recorded my first album at 19. So uh, I had this manager of mine whom I felt like, yes, I have the talent, but I need to be managed by someone. So after it reached some point, this manager decided to tell me that music industry, you cannot, uh, sorry, you cannot work just like that. You need to do some things. You need to sacrifice some things that you care most about for you to drive in the music. Then I was so eager to ask him, what can I do for me to make it in the music? So this, this guy, uh, he knew some cartels who are in cult, 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 if you know cult, what I mean by cult. This is the ball worshipping things, uh, witch doctors. So I refused that. So he decided to take me to a witch doctor. Uh, we went to a witch doctor. We were asked to do some things. Uh, it reached some point I felt like I could not do that. No matter how much I love music, let me just do it for fun. Because if I have to do, it, do some things for me to drive, I better stay. So I refused that condition and I felt like uh, it could not work for me. Uh, most of people might wonder, why, 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 is it, why was it so difficult for me uh, to refuse to do some things like those ones and I claim that I love music so much. The fact is, I am a God-fearing 
person and I can't do some things for me to make it in music that are against God. God gave me the talent and if he wanted me to make it, I would have made it or I can make it. So that's where my journey to change from music industry or to quit music came from. The music industry, there is someone who is holding the music industry. And if you're not really keen, you can realize that you're falling into trap for some people. For me, I could not some, do some things and I refused to them and I decided to quit music because sometimes you decide to go against some people and they tell you that you will not make it. They are the ones who work the industry and so you cannot make it unless you follow whatever they want. For me, I decided to quit and do and become a YouTuber. That's where my journey for becoming a YouTuber started. I can entertain people in different ways. I can help because uh, as you can see my previous video, I, I fed 20 kids in less than 20 minutes, you know. So that's a, those are the things that I want. Putting smile into people, making people laugh. And guys, that's what I'm telling you. If you have really subscribed, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'm really, really much interested in making people happy. Because some people who are not supposed to be made happy by money or food, some people already have food, have money. So it's upon me to find a way that I can entertain them and make them learn. Uh, the other people in the street or the kids in the streets, I can make them learn, I can make them laugh, I can make them eat, I can put a smile on them. So that's really why I decided to become a full-time YouTuber. And if you've not subscribed to this YouTube channel, subscribe. I'll give the full documentary of how I started my music industry to where I am today um, in a well-organized way. But I decided to do this video. For those who are asking me questions, at least they understand from my side why I decided to quit. Not that the music was hard, I am talented, I believe in that. I know how to write, I know how to sing, and I know how to even to make beats, make music, and I have a music studio. So the reason I still quitted, I cannot keep on doing being that, that has no benefit. If you ever see me in the studio again, if you ever heard that I've released music, just know I'm doing it for fun. I'm not doing it professionally. But whatever I'm doing professionally or whatever I'm doing from my heart now is becoming a YouTuber because I don't need any distributor, I don't need any marketer, I don't need any people, any people to, to, to organize shows for me, no. I just need to do my, my things with my group, post it on YouTube, people watch, I go and help people, and that's my cycle, and I want to be in the cycle of making people laugh, putting uh, smiles in people, that's my work from today. So if you've not subscribed, please subscribe, and share comment and like thank you my guys next video i'm posting it very soon thank you bye bye